Hello everyone, I am joined by Neil Farrell, who is of course a crusher, for one thing, and for another thing, a funny guy, and another thing, he likes to enjoy the sauce from time to time, as do I, a man after my own heart. Now, I spoke to someone a few days ago, and he was hungover on the day, and he told me that he actually likes to sort of structure his life around being hungover on day two, because it keeps him from being too involved. So I wanted to talk to someone who manages to crush things all the time, hangover or not, about what are maybe some of the good things about being hungover from time to time, and also how do you bring your A-game when you are this? Um, well, for me personally, my biggest problem is sometimes I just spew off a lot. So if you're just like too physically and emotionally like crippled to like actually physically put the chips in, it stops you doing that a lot. So you just sit and then you, like people would wait for me to spew, but I'm only making the effort with good hands and then you win a lot of chips so that's how it works for me but for other people I'm not sure but that's personal how that works well let's say that you are getting ready to play you know whatever it is day one day two day three what however deep you are let's just say you wake up hungover and you kind of do need to bring an A game what are some tips some tricks how do you manage to <laughs> stay alive inside when you have to sit somewhere for 12 hours hungover? Um, lots and lots of water at all times. You just as much water as you can get all the time. Drink, keep drinking water. And While you're drinking and after you're drinking and before you're drinking. And before you do anything in a hand, make sure it's not like your inner urge to go to bed that's forcing you to put chips in the pot. So make sure it is a good poker play that you're trying to make and then do it. You're just taking that little extra second to make sure. Do you wake? Do you go for the sleep? You know, sleep until the last minute, or do you wake up in time to make sure you can eat enough to? I'm, I'm a sleep to the last minute guy for sure. <laughs> Drag self out, sit down, shower, some tears maybe. Just cry yourself. Yeah, and then uh, you know, nice ice cold shower as well as kind of punishment for being drunk again the day before a tournament. Really? See, Jason Coon's all about that ice cold shower. You really do that? You punish yourself? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same reasons, I think. He has the ice cold shower. We, we love this summer lifestyle anyway. Me yeah, and Jason. I, do, I totally always put you guys in that same yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. If you want to, you know, ship EPTs like Neil Farrell, this is what you need to do. Drink a lot of cocktails, wake up the next day, take a cold shower, come hit the tables, guys. That's how easy it is. Thank you so much. You're with us here on PokerNews.com.